Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm your host, Uncanny Danny, who figured out 99 ways to start a YouTube video incorrectly and still hasn't found the one right way to start one correctly. I got a really special treat for you. We looked on eBay and we found that there was some Expedition Pokemon cards. As you know, the Pokemon Expedition series was one of the few series to utilize the e-reader function that was brought on for the Game Boy Advance system, which had mini games, little stats and things like one I found the other day for Animal Crossing fans out there. Right? It has notes on the back and I think you can like play a song or something like that. Let's see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Uh, so yeah, uh, pretty cool things. And they did, I think, three sets um, for the Pokemon trading card game. And we're going to take a look and see what's inside and see all the commons from the expedition set. Alrighty folks, without further ado, let's get into it. Well, hi, are you gonna help me do the video? So first off, we're starting off with Coughing, who is number one in the Expedition set, you'll see over here. And you'll also see that all of these are first edition cards, which is really awesome. Got these for about a dollar a piece, and I got all 35 of them from the same seller, which is a lot different than if I went on TCG Player and tried to like snipe all these out. All right, so we got Coughing, who is ready to just explode all over you, and he's ready to go. He's just like, Arr! You know, then we got Hopip, or as I like to refer to him, but my radish friend, because he looks like he just came out of my garden. Next we got Caterpie, who has the most soulless eyes I have ever seen in a Pokemon art. I have PTSD from everything. Just, just in it now. Yeah, he needs some help. So now we have the uh, the new libertarian flag, no step on the snake. Uh, Ekans, then we have Oddish, and this is the last face that you see before you die. Thank you, Masako. I, I really, really appreciate this this new fear that you have given me. <laughs> um, then we have Vulpix, looking cute as ever in one of these claymation-style art scenes that Pokemon is known for and still does in some of their sets. I'm really hopeful that someday I'll get my hands on the Ninetales here, but it is not going to be in this video because these are all the commons. Next, we got Ponyta, which also really excited to see. A really cute Pokemon. Uh, I really love uh, Rapidash too, and uh, she looks really great in this set. And then we got Poliwag, looking dapper as ever with that cute little swirl on his belly. He kind of reminds me of Pingu because uh, we also got the claymation style going on in this one. And it kind of has beak. I don't know. Poliwag kind of looks like he has a beak. Then we got Shelter, just kind of waiting to break out of her shell. And very shy. Uh, so that's cool. Uh, oh, and then we got a cat type Pokemon who's just entered the field. What are you find? No, that's no, no, you can't eat that. <laughs> so, Annie here, uh, we have Shelter, and then we have Krabby, who is looking very upset. And we have Goldeen. And after number 11 in the set comes the most powerful card that has ever been printed from the Pokemon TCG in the Wizards of the Coast era Magikarp. Get ready for Magikarp here today. He is ready to rock and roll and he's gonna ride those waves. As soon as you put Magikarp down on the table, uh, you have your opponents just scooping like nobody's business. It's like they opened up an ice cream shop. They're doing so much scooping. Oh, I got Meryl. Meryl is ready to go. Everything else after this is pretty much going to be a decline in awesomeness because Magikarp pretty much just doesn't mess around. So then we got Meryl. Meryl is really cute, uh, looking roly-poly as ever. And then after Meryl, we got Magikarp. And then after Magikarp, we have Magikarp. We got Magikarp. We got Magikarp. <laughs> More Magikarp. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Okay. Let's uh, let's keep going here. We got Pufferfish Man. And uh, I've taken a little bit of Katakana classes online. I can tell you for a fact that this is Pufferfish Man. In Japanese, how awesome is that? Uh, and then we got uh, Cloister's um, cuter, cuter cousin Pokemon, uh, Coral Fish Mon, uh, Pikachu, looking really cute, hunting some stuff. Then we got Mareep, Abra, 
Aubrey's looking really good. Ghastly, looking like he's gonna mess you up in an alley. Top 10 things you do not want to see in a dark alley at night, that's for sure. Then we got Diglett, who we all know that is just one of the 10 fingers of Diglett in this photo. Machop, looking like he is ready to murder something. We got Geodude, practicing non-toxic masculinity. Just, you know, being buff, admiring flowers, vibing, doing things. Or it could be a whole facade. He also kind of has the kill me eyes that Machop had. Maybe it's just a fighting type thing, but that'd be typist. I don't know, who knows? So uh, we're gonna go to the next Pokemon here. Cubo, <laughs> I don't even want to get into how sad this Pokemon is. Oh my gosh, this is, this, this is too much. I, I can't do this, because we all know why Cubone's sad. Uh, anyways, we have Larvitar. Larvitar, he's vibing, just kind of hanging out. 2 a.m. Or I guess it's probably like 2 p.m. considering it's like bright outside, but who knows? Maybe he lives like in Alaska. Maybe. Who knows? Uh, and then we got Pidgey, who is also probably one of the top three most powerful Pokemon in the game. So all those people trying to get your Beckett and PSAs of Charizard and stuff like that, you know, just stop, you know, because uh, this is this is the real gold here, okay? Five years from now, this card, just watch out. Okay? Calling it right now. And we got... Precisely! Ricky Papa ta 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 Rat ta rat rat it rat ta ta rat 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 ta ta There we go. Precisely! Well, I did that out. That'll be fine. Spiro, he's hanging out, doing his thing. The uh, spikier version of Pidgey. Uh, me at two in the morning. Followed by Meowth, who definitely has the uh, move Payday on here because it is only at two digits. Um, then we have uh, Taros, Bull, Cancer, Virgo, something, I don't, I don't remember. Um, and he looks like he's had way too much Sriracha in his noodles and he's looking pretty angry about it. Again, got the kill me eyes going on. And then followed by Dratini, which is one of the cutest Pokemon in the game. And then last but not least, we got Houndor, which is the 30 second card in our entry. So um, that's pretty cool. We got all the commons in here for around 36 bucks, so about a buck a piece. And cool. That is all of them. Hey guys, thanks again for watching this video. If you liked what you saw, let me know in the comments. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or any of those things or any button, you know, press some buttons for me. Let me know how they went, you know, red buttons, blue buttons, green buttons. Whatever, doesn't matter. If you want to see more Pokemon content, let me know. If you have any trading card recommendations, uh, that'd be really cool. Do some stuff that not a lot of people have seen. I'll be doing some Magic the Gathering. Uh, that's one of my main focuses, but I'm also a huge Pokemon fan, and I'm really excited to see if I can find some more of these e-reader cards. I find them really fascinating, especially since I kind of tie into the hardware side of things too. If you want to see any more content like that, subscribe, it really helps me out. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. So we got this one. And then we have this one. All right, guys.